welcome back to my channel and yes for today's video I decided to do another Ouija talk because I haven't posted a video in like seven months in my defense like, there's no defense I'm sorry guys I do want to try to make more videos um, it might be tricky because um, I know new scenery what is this I am in college now so I might make videos at home but I also you might be seeing videos here so yeah I'm in college ha huh? cool um anyways so yeah I'm going to try to make more videos I realize like you know I, I should be I should make more videos so I'm gonna try to make more so if you have suggestions leave it in the comments down below like if you want to see a dorm tour I want to ask want me to talk about college life um feel free to let me know down below but anyways for today's video I thought usually every time I come back after like months I feel like it's a good idea to do a Ouija talk so hi um today's video and in honor of October because spooky season um and being queen of horror i decided to do a ouija talk on frequently asked questions of the ouija board these are kind of general questions like this is something i could probably do like a part two or like something i could do more videos on this because there's so many questions you could ask about the ouija board so without further ado i'm just gonna get into most frequently asked questions of the ouija board Quick disclaimer, I'm sorry if like some might not seem as frequently asked or if I missed any, let me know down below. This is just like a general list of questions. I'm only doing 10 questions. Um, I, of course, if you guys want to see a part two, let me know um, or give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a part two um, or comments. Comments are great. Or if you do have a question about the Ouija board, let me know in the comments down below because at some point I would really love to do like a... Um, like you guys ask me questions and I give you guys answers but um yeah so let's just get started so the first question what is a Ouija board um in a simple in a simple term it's just a magical oracle used to contact spirits that's kind of like the sort of definition that might not be the google definition so like don't hold me to that but yeah um it's just a magical oracle used to contact spirits um that's pretty much all it is Second question, can a Ouija board predict the future? Um, well, it's used to contact spirits, so like, no. Um, I mean, people sometimes use it for that purpose. I personally wouldn't recommend it. I don't really see how, like, you can... I don't see how it's going to predict the future if it's used to contact spirits. Like, that's how they advertise it, but, like, it's not actually what it does. Like, a spirit could tell you the future but it's like a spirit so just because it's a spirit doesn't mean like they can see into the future now if you ask the spirit like when am i gonna die which don't ever do that but if you ask it that you know it might be like tomorrow and then it might like do something i've heard actually like a story where somebody said when am i gonna die the spirit said tomorrow and then like a, like they almost died three times that day like a fan almost hit them a car almost hit them like mm. So yeah, um, it technically can't predict the future, but like it might seem like it can, but it really, that's not what it's used for. If that made sense, sorry. <laughs> question number three, where did the Ouija board come from? So this question's a little bit tricky. Um, there's not a whole lot of like an origin, like, like with a lot of things, it's like, oh, this came from here, this came from here. So the Ouija board's not really like that, where it, doesn't fully have an origin it's been said for some origin the ouija boards come from like china but it's a little bit tricky the best of an origin i could give you is it's they started appearing in the 1800s and a lot of psychics and fortune tellers use them i guess to yeah to predict the future and i think that's where the misconception came in but yeah people said a lot of like yeah psychics fortune tellers used them in the 1800s and then they started selling them because people are like oh i want to use this this is so cool so yeah that happened but um other than that it's really hard to determine like who made this thing and it's really hard to determine how it went from like kind of like predicting the future actually i think some psychics used it to like communicate with the dead but like fortune tellers are like predict the future so it's kind of confusing how it went from like predicting the future and co contacting spirits because those are like two totally different things and it's like they can do two totally different things like so it, it's a lot but there's not a fully like an exact origin and that's where it's really difficult to give like a straight up answer number four why do they sell ouija boards in toy stores if they're dangerous so because they are sold as like a thing to predict the future it's like the magic eight ball like the magic eight ball i mean as far as i'm concerned unless you like throw it at somebody and try to hurt them with it 
it's not considered dangerous. Like, it, they advertise it as just, like, a board... They ad Literally, they advertise it as a board game. So that's why they can sell it in kids' stores. Because I have seen it in Toys R Us and, like... I think I've seen it in Target. Like, I've seen it in, like, in multiple stores. And not even just at Halloween time. Like, throughout the year, it's like, oh, there's a Ouija board. But, yeah, um, they... It's because it's, like... And also contacting spirits, that's considered a religious thing. So it's like some people don't believe in that. So they they think it really is like, oh, it's just some stupid game. So, and again, it's advertised as a board game. That's pretty much why they can sell it in stores. <sighs> Question number five. How many people do you need to play a Ouija board? So you need a minimum of two. Never play it alone. And I think I, I had, not even I think. I have talked multiple times in previous videos as to why you shouldn't play alone but you need at least two people reason being um one it's very dangerous to play by yourself if you can even get the board to work because like you can go crazy or something can possess you because you're always stronger in numbers when it comes to the ouija board and number two usually you don't have enough energy as you're on your own unless you're a sidekick or someone with a strong sixth sense you're not gonna have enough energy to like summon a spirit <laughs> so that's where the other people help there's not like an actual maximum number i would just say as many people that can hold on to the planchette as possible but yeah the minimum is two people to play um they some people would go as far as to, yeah some people go as far as to say three because you want somebody to write down the letters because you might forget and it makes it easier and sometimes the more you play the faster it gets so yeah number six can you make your own ouija board yes you can um will it work I don't know that's up to you that's like it depends um you can make your own it's not guaranteed to work but just because like you buy a store-bought one and you make your own like it's it's not like oh because you spent money it's gonna work because even you can buy a store-bought one and it might not work either but um yeah you can make your own at home all you need is a sheet of paper you just draw out the letters the numbers yes no and goodbye and then you can use something like a shot glass or and I just say shot glass because it's kind of like the best thing where it's like a planchette where it's like clear and you can kind of see where it's going and it's not too big and bulky but if you could um maybe like even a piece of a magnifying glass like something not sharp that's going to cut you but something like that would be really good but that's really all you need um you can make your own sometimes it helps like if you like candles and stuff or do it like depending on the time it might not work but it also could work you, there's things I actually have done a video on tips of the Ouija board that you could look at if you want to figure out like hmm because like that type of stuff could help if you make one but yes you can make your own Ouija board so if you're really curious you're like I don't want to spend 30 bucks that's an option number seven why is goodbye on the Ouija board so the reason goodbye is on the Ouija board is because at the end of the game game I use that word loosely you are supposed to say goodbye if you don't say goodbye, then it's kind of, like I always say the cliche, it's like leaving your front door open. Like, you wouldn't just leave your front door open because then anybody can go in and out of your house. Same with the goodbye. Because when you play the Ouija board, you're like opening a portal to another dimension or other world, however you like to word that. So by saying goodbye at the end of the game, you are closing that portal so like, cause, so spirits don't go in and out because you don't know what you're gonna get and yeah spirits have nothing better to do so yeah um that's why that's on the board though it's just for to close the session question number eight are satanic people the only ones who use the ouija board so this is a big fat no um what makes me laugh about this one is because people like i get a comment once in a while where people are like oh you're satanic this is against the word of god and in reality like depending on your religion yes um it technically is against god because it's like one you're trying to communicate with the dead two um thou shall not follow false prophets or something like that um so if either way of using it if it's predict the future or contact here that that does go against the word of god however um it's not satanic like people use it like the most most people do it out of curiosity like i want to see if it works but just because you use the Ouija board, it does not mean you are satanic. And what makes me laugh the most about it is, I'm not, like, I don't really know a whole lot about, like, um, Satanism. But what I can tell you is, like, there's really, they don't, 
I mean, people that are, I'm not saying all satanic people use it. There's people that are satanic that use the Ouija board, but there's also not satanic people that use the Ouija board. But, um, it, it doesn't make you satanic. Satanic people, like, I don't even think they have rituals where they use the Ouija board. Like, that's where I'm just like, there's this big misconception. People are like, oh, that's evil. But it's like, again, they literally sell it as a kid's board game. <laughs> so, granted, that's really not what it is. You can do more with it. But, like, a lot of people, like, I see, like, there's so many YouTube videos of people trying it out to see if it works. And, like, it's just people, like, does it work? It's more, I feel like more people use it for the curiosity of it or for the thrill-seeking than, like, actual satanic stuff. So, no, you're not satanic if you use a Ouija board. So, like, I don't know why people freak out so much over that. But it's also, also like, just mind your business. They're like, okay, you might not support it, but... Maybe somebody else says this is a but no, you're not satanic if you use a Ouija board, so not a thing. Question number nine. What types of questions should you ask the Ouija board? Well, that's a good question. Um, when you ask the Ouija board questions, one, never ask questions about yourself. Like, do not do the whole predicting the future thing. Like, oh, when am I going to get married? Does this person like me? It's not a magic eight ball. It's a Ouija board. Like, if you want to ask future questions, go ask the magic eight ball. Um, but with um, the Ouija board, good questions to ask are just genuine questions about the spirit. Like, how old are you? Um, are you happy now? Um, what are... What were things you liked to do when you were alive? Um, did you have family? Were you married? Like, did you go to school? Like, things like that. Like, just genuine questions. Um, I was always told don't ask the spirit when they died or how they died because apparently it can cause a glitch in the board or it can freeze up. So try to avoid, like, dying. Just avoid dying as a whole. Don't ask the board anything to do with that. But, um, other than that, just ask it genuine questions about itself in reality. Or, like, what's your name? Um, just things like that. Focus on the spirit, not on yourself. Because, like, they're, like, in eternity and bored. So, like, you know, talk about them. Like, don't focus on you. They don't care. <laughs> and also, like, you're, like, wasting their time. <laughs> Low-key. But, yeah. And my last question, which is a super quick and easy question. What is the thing that you move around the Ouija board called? I see this question all the time. It's called a planchette. It is spelled P-L-A-N-C-H-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Yeah, I looked at it just to make sure I spelled it right. So I didn't look like an idiot. But yeah, it's the little thing with the little circle thing. Yeah, that's a planchette. So... That's my 10 questions on the Ouija board. But um, if you do have any more questions, please let me know down below because I would love to make a part two. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you've gotten to this part, I know most of you are going to click out by now. But subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram at HorrorLover13. I post my SFX on there. And check out my website, QueenOfHorror.com, where I post a lot of horror stuff. I'm, I did remodel it again. I don't know if it's going to be up or not, but I put the Ouija board section back up. So go check that out if it's up or keep checking. It should be up within the next couple of weeks at the most. But um, yeah, subscribe because who knows when I'm making a video again. I am going to try to make more. I'm so sorry I've been gone for so long. Comment video ideas down below because I don't know what videos to do. So comment them down below and give this video a thumbs up. And that's it. So until next time, bye guys. And just remember, always say goodbye. Bye.